In this lesson, we are going to be talking about AI code of ethics. Your warm-up journal is what are examples of artificial intelligence you've seen either in real life or in fiction like movies or music or television? This is just the first part of the journal, okay? So write down your responses and then think about this. Can you think of times when these examples were used for good? Can you think of times when these examples were used for bad, even if unintended? Are there things they do we might consider right or wrong? There are only, you know, a ton of movies involving artificial intelligence. And those are just movies. Okay. There are so many real world examples now of artificial intelligent use. So answer these questions in your journal, pause the video so you can do that, and then come back. So when we discuss right and wrong or good and bad, we are discussing ethics. Ethics are guidelines for good behavior. As we create our own apps using machine learning and artificial intelligence, it's important to consider the ethical impact of our decisions. No matter how intelligent machines may appear, they are still tools that humans create. If created or used without the right guidelines, machines with artificial intelligence can easily make unethical decisions, such as being biased against someone's gender or race. The more aware we are of ethical issues involving AI, the better we will be. The better we will be able to make sure that AI benefits everyone in society. Our question for this lesson is, what are guidelines we can use to create ethical machine learning apps? Ethics, guidelines for good behavior. So in our activity, you have, you will need to download the activity guides that are attached to your assignment post and pause the video here so you can do that. And then we're gonna watch this short little video about ethics and AI, equal access and algorithmic bias. No matter, no matter what field you end up going into, it's quite likely that AI is going to have some impact on what you're doing. The potential for AI to help society is enormous. It's something that is influencing a lot of very important decisions about real humans and their lives. It could be used in education to be more of an equalizer between people. It could be used in healthcare to develop new drugs. It could be used in science to develop new technologies. And like any technology, its application will depend on how it is utilized. And at the same time, we need to think about the risks that are associated with doing that. The consequences are huge. The kind of artificial intelligence technology that really dominates the applications we're seeing today is machine learning. Machine learning depends entirely on the information that you feed it. The problem is that with real world data, there's often information in there that you didn't intend to be in there, but is captured because of the bias in the data collection process. So if you're building an AI to determine who gets a home loan or who should be charged with a crime, it could definitely bubble up the racial biases that humans and our current society already does. A lot of what it means to build less harmful AI is really uh, systems that are including the perspectives of those that are most vulnerable or most marginalized, most likely to be hurt by the deployment of that system. In many ways, I've worried that the people who are particularly vulnerable to AI are the people who are already underprivileged in many respects. Most people in the world just have AI applied to them rather than playing an active role in guiding what AI gets applied to. Everybody you know has a computer in their pocket. That's young people, old people, rich people, poor people. To me, that's actually quite exciting 
from a democratization of technology perspective. It means that AI, powerful as it is, could theoretically be in everybody's pockets, benefiting everybody. We should strive to make sure that things that provide value for society can be reached to anybody. How do we give a greater voice to the people who are being impacted by AI to in turn be able to turn around and impact how AI is used for them? Every time when you're looking at a new problem, you have an opportunity to change the world. Sometimes we succeed, sometimes we don't, but we always try. It's really critically important that we have as many diverse perspectives as possible influencing the development of AI. We need the participation of more women, more people of color, to provide a different perspective and a different lens on which problems matter and how we should approach these problems. All right, sorry about that little uh, mishap halfway through. What you're going to need is the activity guide that is attached to the assignment post. And it is called AI Ethics Research Areas. Now, you have five different, six different areas right here, okay? And then you're also going to have a reflection. So you're going to pick one of these areas and you're going to complete the reflection. Now, I am supposed to divide you into groups, but that's a little bit hard considering you're not necessarily working with somebody. So you can work with somebody if you want to. Um, I would like for you to pick an area that you would like to specialize in. So one area is computer vision and sensors. One area is social media, shopping and entertainment. One is human robot interaction. Employment, economy, and finance, healthcare, human life, and well being, environmental, natural resources, and wildlife. I think this one's pretty cool. I know of some ways that they already use artificial intelligence because my husband is a game warden. So it's really, really interesting. Pick an area that interests you. Okay. It might be a little hard to just pick one, it would be for me, but. If you want to do more than one, maybe that would be like a really good extra credit opportunity. I don't know. Okay. So you are holding a meeting to write an AI code of ethics. We're going to write this in a different discussion board. Okay. There will be a discussion on this discussion board. There will be a comment from me regarding these different sections and so what you will do is you will reply to the section that you choose you'll reply to the area so if you chose computer vision and sensors as your specialization area you're going to reply to the area that you're going to reply to that area okay and this ai code of ethics will be a set of rules for people who work on ai machines and lawmakers worldwide one example of a rule might be AI must treat all people fairly. Before you begin writing the rules, though, you're going to research your area and discuss it with your group. I would maybe find somebody to work with. All right. So you've got the, the research areas. So you're going to do some research in the area that you choose. And then you're going to look at your reflection. Write down your research area and then talk about the research area. Com complete this and that's going to be what you submit to Schoology. Okay. 
That's the reflection. Now, your AI code of ethics is going to be completed in the Okay. You're going to make a presentation, all right, and you can make it look, there will be a link in the assignment post under resources that will give you kind of like an example, okay? You can make it look like that, but you're going to create this code of ethics using, via a presentation, okay? so. Remember to skim the longer articles for key ideas, take notes, pose additional questions, and use the search engine to investigate further if time permits. All right, what is a code of ethics? Well, This is an example of Microsoft and Google's AI code of ethics. It's similar to what you'll be creating. And so I'm also gonna have those linked in the resources of the, of the assignment post, okay? Because you may want to go look at that for a little bit more detail to see some real world applications of a code of ethics, some actual codes of ethics. Okay, your next task is to create a similar resource in AI code of ethics based on what you've read and discussed. What are the most important ethical principles or rules you believe all current and future AI must follow? Like I said, you can make a PowerPoint presentation I'm totally fine with that. You'll just need to submit it as a PDF or sub just share it and then submit the shareable link. Pause the video here and when you get done, come back and we can look at our wrap up journal. How would you describe AI ethics to a family member or friend who didn't participate in this lesson? That's what you're going to do for your journal, and then that's it.